Teenager has confessed to mutilating pet goats. It was an attack that really disturbed a Longview neighborhood. One goat was skinned alive, another hurt in the Beacon Hill neighborhood last Father's Day. Jessica Marker find, found out about the arrest and went back to check on the victims in this update you'll see only on 6. Neighbors who live in the Beacon Hill community and their goats are breathing a sigh of relief knowing that the person who skinned one of these animals last year won't be coming back again. Pretty much I think everybody you talked to was really sad, disgusted. They were sad and were, you know, it really hurt, hit them hard. You know, like that was such a inhumane thing to do, you know, to anybody, to anything, any animal even. Cat, dog, goat, sheep. Brent Connell shows us the four goats and sheep that managed to escape slaughter last June. Briggs, Gerald, Jane, and a sheep named Lamb Chop. And Lamb Chop's bringing up the rear there. For this neighborhood, they're lawn mowers and part of the Beacon Hill family, especially for the neighborhood kids who made the untimely discovery last Father's Day. The first one was skinned alive. They uh, duct taped him up, his mouth up, zip tied their legs together. Connell tells me the suspect tried to attack a second goat, but got spooked before completing the act. Then, two months later, he came back, approached here with the flashlight, went into the goat shed. That's when I caught him, chased him all the way to the end of the field. Animal Control describes it as one of the most gruesome animal mutilations in years. I checked and found out that this week, burglary and animal cruelty charges were submitted to the Cowlitz County District Attorney for a teenage boy. <laughs> Neighbors say it's shocking, but also a relief that the animals here are no longer being targeted. The charges could be punishable by jail time. It kind of hit the community really hard, I think, with a uh, Having goat skin like that, you know, I'm taking, and they're such good pets, you know, and like people are saying, afraid to what it leads to after that. In Longview, Jessica Morkert, Coin 6 News.